The shocking truth nobody wants you to discover is that you're not bad at math. The way you've been taught math is what's completely broken. Right now, millions of students are sitting at their desks, staring at equations that might as well be written in ancient hieroglyphics, feeling like complete failures. But in reality, they're brilliant minds who've just been handed the wrong instruction manual. Today, I'm giving you the real instruction manual, the one that transforms math from your worst enemy into your secret weapon. And by the time we're done, you'll have a battle-tested system that makes solving problems feel like you're operating with cheat codes. The first revolutionary principle is the focus rule, and this single concept will completely transform your study sessions. Here's the catastrophic mistake that virtually every student makes, attempting to absorb five different mathematical topics during one study period. Your brain isn't a high-speed computer, capable of processing multiple, complex subjects simultaneously. Instead, you must commit to mastering one specific topic per day, and here's your proven daily formula for mathematical success. Dedicate the first 30 minutes to pure concept absorption, avoiding the temptation to jump immediately into problem solving. Instead, spend this time genuinely understanding the underlying principles. Watch explanatory content, study worked examples, and treat this phase like learning the fundamental rules of an entirely new game. Allocate the following 45 minutes to deliberate practice with genuinely simple problems, and I mean problems that feel almost too easy. Because when exercises seem challenging, you need to find even simpler ones, since this phase builds essential muscle memory, rather than testing your intelligence. Reserve the final 30 minutes for tackling more demanding problems, but only after your mind has been properly prepared and activated. This systematic approach works because your brain constructs understanding in distinct layers rather than absorbing everything simultaneously. And when you attempt jumping from zero knowledge to expert level problem solving in one session, all information becomes hopelessly tangled. But when you build understanding layer by methodical layer, each component connects seamlessly to create comprehensive mastery. Now let's address the most frustrating aspect of mathematical learning, the phenomenon of forgetting everything you worked so hard to understand. You invest considerable time and energy mastering a particular formula or concept, then the following day, it vanishes from your memory as though you'd never encountered it. This occurs because of how your brain naturally processes and stores information for long-term retention. Most students approach math by repeatedly reading the same material over and over, but your brain assigns little importance to information that doesn't require active mental effort to retrieve. Here's the memory technique that revolutionizes retention, active recall, paired with strategic spaced repetition. The process works as follows. First, remove all reference materials, close your textbooks, hide formula sheets, eliminate every possible aid. Second, attempt solving problems using exclusively what exists in your current memory. Don't worry about getting stuck because that mental struggle serves as the entire foundation of the technique. Third, review your work and analyze exactly where your reasoning went wrong. Fourth, schedule review sessions for the same material after one day, then three days, then seven days, creating expanding intervals. This technique succeeds because when your brain must work to retrieve information, it recognizes that data as critically important and stores it with much greater permanence. The difference resembles having someone simply tell you their phone number versus being forced to memorize it because your phone battery died completely. Which scenario creates stronger, more durable memory formation? Here's where most students sabotage their own progress. They attempt scaling Mount Everest before mastering basic walking techniques. You encounter a challenging problem, dive directly into solving it, experience immediate frustration, abandon the attempt, then conclude that mathematics simply isn't your strength. Successful mathematicians employ the pyramid system for systematic skill development. Foundation level involves studying completely worked examples without attempting to solve them independently. Focus entirely on understanding the logical progression from initial step to intermediate steps. 
To final solution. The second level introduces easy practice problems where you build genuine confidence and experience actual success. Third level gradually increases difficulty as your brain develops strength and readiness for complex thinking. Peak level presents exam quality problems, but here's the breakthrough. These challenging problems feel manageable because you've systematically prepared for them through progressive skill building. Most students attempt jumping directly to peak level, which resembles trying to deadlift 400 pounds during your first gym visit. The result is inevitable injury and complete abandonment of the activity. Let's acknowledge the uncomfortable truth. Sometimes, you absolutely don't want to study mathematics. The textbook feels impossibly heavy, the problems appear terrifying, and countless distractions seem infinitely more appealing. Here's the psychological strategy that eliminates procrastination permanently, the 10-minute commitment rule. Promise yourself, for exactly 10 minutes of study time, set a timer, and commit to nothing beyond that minimal time frame. Here's the psychological mechanism at work, initiating any activity, represents the most challenging phase, but once you begin, your mind naturally warms up, and frequently desires, to continue past the original time limit. The principle functions like, pushing a stationary vehicle, the initial force feels overwhelming, but once momentum builds, maintaining movement becomes, significantly easier. Even limiting yourself, to exactly 10 minutes, still represents genuine progress. And consistent progress generates momentum. Momentum develops lasting habits, and productive habits creates inevitable success. The master strategy that integrates all these principles is the Math Power Hour, your daily cognitive workout that will transform your mathematical abilities completely. Minutes 1 through 20 constitute review mode, where you revisit yesterday's concept using the active recall technique, forcing your brain to work for information retrieval. Minutes 21 through 50 represent your intensive, problem-solving sprint, maintaining laser focus on one specific topic while progressing through the pyramid level systematically. Minutes 51 through 60 involve thorough mistake analysis, examining every incorrect solution and identifying precisely where your reasoning process went wrong. One hour of concentrated, purposeful study consistently outperforms five hours of scattered and focused effort. Because your brain achieves superior learning through intensity and focus rather than extended periods of distracted activity. Ensuring all this preparation translates to success during high-stakes situations requires specific training protocols. Most students prepare for examinations by simply increasing study time, but champions prepare through realistic pressure simulation. Weekly, create authentic exam conditions by setting strict time limits, eliminating all reference materials, and outside assistance, completing full practice examinations, and tracking both accuracy rates and completion speed. This approach works because your brain operates completely differently under pressure. And exclusive practice in comfortable conditions means exam stress will overwhelm your entire system. However, regular training under realistic pressure makes the actual exam day feel routine and manageable rather than traumatic. The final element that activates everything is revolutionizing your self-concept and relationship with mathematics. Currently, you might believe you're simply not mathematically inclined, but here's the absolute reality. Mathematical aptitude versus mathematical inability doesn't exist as fixed categories. Only trained minds and untrained minds exist. Every time you declare yourself bad at mathematics, you're programming your brain to surrender more quickly. So replace those limiting statements with growth-oriented language like, I'm developing mathematical skills, I improve consistently every day, and mistakes accelerate my learning process. Your brain accepts and acts upon whatever you repeatedly tell it. So begin communicating your complete capability and observe the transformation. Three months from today, you'll sit down for your mathematical exam while classmates around you experience stress and panic, but you'll feel completely calm and confident. You'll read the first problem and recognize the familiar pattern from your systematic training. Your hand will move decisively 
Across the paper, as you work through problem, after problem with methodical precision. No panic, no mental blanks, just smooth execution of trained responses. You'll finish with time remaining and review your work calmly. Walking out, you'll know you dominated the exam completely. And when people ask about your mathematical transformation, you'll explain that you simply learned proper brain training techniques. However, none of this creates results unless you implement these strategies immediately. You can consume endless educational content about swimming technique, but actual swimming ability only develops through water practice. Here's my direct challenge. Select one technique from this and execute it today, not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. Perhaps you'll try the focus rule by spending 30 minutes genuinely understanding one concept. Maybe you'll use the 10 minute hack to overcome procrastination. Or you might transform your mindset by replacing I'm bad at math with I'm developing mathematical skills. The specific technique matters less than taking immediate action because remember, you're not defective, you're simply entrained, and all training begins with one committed step forward.